What's going on YouTube? Roxas the Torture here, and today we're bringing you another Pokemon Showdown battle. We are currently in Auras OU format because we are appealing to the hype of Pokemon <laughs> Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. For some reason I feel like I said it wrong. But anyway, we're we're using this team that my brother made, Slurptile. I'm just using this team because he made a really good team centered around Sceptile and it's putting in a lot of work. I, I'd say it's putting in a lot of work. I'm getting used to it now, so I've been the first battle the first battles I had in the beginning, like the first video, I was like, oh my god, I can't use this team. I think I snagged the win in the first video anyway, but I was just like I can't. But now I've gotten a lot better at using it. But the only thing I see is that it has so many special attackers that if a Chansey or if a Blissey or if a Clefable comes in, it can pretty much wall the team because there's so many special attackers. We only have one attacker, which is Falcondor. So, I mean, hey. Yeah. But it works. It works. It's not bad. And Sceptile is just a beast. Sceptile is amazing. I can't wait to actually use it when it when um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire come out. It's a beast. Oh my god. I love grass types, so you guys already know. I already love grass types. The only grass type I Mega that we actually have, I think, is Venusaur. So I'm happy to say that there's another grass type right now that's here. So Mega Sceptile is leading the party. We're gonna get into team update. I forgot to say that, but yeah, Mega Sceptile is leading the party. Um, with its special attacking, it's of course a special attacker. We also have Slowbro here as a special attacker as well, and also the physical wall. We have Heatran, who's another special attacker, who is also a special wall. We also have Conquador. Who is kind of going to be a special wall because he has assault vest and he has a lot of HP, but he is our main physical attacker because he is the only physical attacker on the team. Oh yeah, Thunderous who is going to be being a prankster and sending up Thunder Waves and maybe knocking out his younger brother Landorus. But you know, it Landorus paid us back in the last episode and knocked us out instead of us knocking it out. So yeah. <laughs> um, but we have um, Florges here as well who's going to be um, a special attacker. She is not a special wall. She is actually a special attacker. This is also another idea my brother came up with and it's really good. So, we're gonna get into a battle right now, see what we have to face. A Mega Sharpedo again, we gotta be careful. And he has his own Heat Ram, we gotta be careful in this team. Um, we need we need Stealth Rock setup actually, right away. By the way, we need Stealth Rock setup because he has a. He has a, um. He has a Defogger though, that's the problem. But he does, I have to be honest with myself, he does have a. a, um. A Dragonite, so I have to. T Wave affects me, of course, that's fine. I can't move right on turn one. Wow. Wow, you're a pro. I went for a Toxic just to see what he would do. He stayed in. I mean, and I could go for Earth Power to be completely honest, so. He might go into Gengar. He was in the Sharpedo. That's interesting. That's very interesting. He went to Sharpedo. Now we're probably going to get swept. Resisted. Why would you go for Ice Beam? Lava Plume. Crit. Oh my god. Sharpedo's not getting any love in this fight. Why would you do that? Why would you Ice Beam and Heat Ran? It's resisted. Now he surfs. But, I mean, I'm going to live it and I'm going to bop you now. Bye, Mega Sharpedo. Well, I'm, I'm okay with that. Honestly, I'm okay with that. These these screens need to go away because that's gonna pose a problem when I have to take out Dragonite. I hope he doesn't come in with Dragonite right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> He's thinking, please don't come in with Dragonite. Okay, he came with Mandibuzz. Um, so I'm gonna actually Toxic Mandibuzz. He could defog it all. He could defog if he wants to. I'm just gonna Toxic him. He whirlwinded me out into Florges. How do you feel about that? Did Light Screen just go away first? Light Screen just went away, so I'm gonna Moonblast. <laughs> Foul play. Okay, catch his, catch his Moonblast. Bop. Nice and Life Orb. If he comes in with Dragonite, I won the battle. Okay, 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 I won the battle. Um, <laughs> Those plays were just ridiculous, though. Oh my god, we have a Mega Metagross, we have a... Oh, Feral Thorn. We have a Zoomer and we have some Gen 4 power here, Metal Swine and Magnezone. Honestly, I should lead with Thunderous, but at the same time, not really, because he might just leave it with um, Metal Swine. So I'm actually going to lead with Conqueror just in case. Should I? No, I'm going to leave with Forges. Uh huh. Interesting. Very interesting setup here. Can I, can I kill him with a. 
Nope. But I did a good amount. Oh my god. This forge just has too much power. He protects. He's gonna see me do the hidden power again. He might actually switch, so I'm actually gonna go for a Moonblast for neutral damage on anything that comes in. Which is the Zoomerill that I was expecting. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna actually go for Moonblast again. I'm not gonna reveal that I have Energy Ball. Because I might come in clutch against something in this team. I don't know. Well, Floris is putting nothing but the work. It is the Metagirl, so it's probably gonna... Um, not probably, he's definitely gonna uh, Bullet Punch me. So I'm gonna go into Heat Ran right away. He doubled out. Um, that's weird. I don't know why he would double out. But I am going to take this opportunity to set up Stealth Rock. He sets up Bleed Seed. That's fine with me. I'm actually just taking the opportunity to set up Stealth Rock, as I said before. He is most likely going to go for a Protect now, so I'm going to switch into Conkledor. Yep, he goes for Protect, and I switch into Con Conkledor successfully, so I'm going to go for the Drain Punch now. You can go for a Protect again. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to go for Drain Punches. Your whole team is weak against fighting, if you didn't notice. Bop. Thanks. Thank you. He allowed me to get into this position, though, by doing what he just did. So we have a Magnazone here. We are our Assault Vested, so Magnazone is not one-shotting anybody. So... Yeah, we're Assault Vested, so we can eat it. We're gonna Drain Punch. We're gonna get most of our HP back. Um, we can finish it off with uh with a mock punch here. Yep. So his whole team is weak against fighting. If he hasn't noticed, if he didn't notice then, now he he knows he should notice now. He's going to Greninja or his Mammal Swine. I prefer Greninja though. Yes, I really want to see Greninja's face. It's like a mock punch it. I mean, if you switch, then I understand. But yeah, Hydro Pump. He missed. Oh no, he hit me. He got the hit. He got the hit off. I'm gonna go for another mock punch here. I guess he doesn't see his weakness. He forfeited. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have one more battle because that was ridiculous. I mean, he had to forfeit right there. His whole team was weak against fighting. Okay, now here's a team that's pretty diverse. Um, the main weaknesses are fire, I not ice. No, not ice. Mostly fire. He has a good team, though. It's probably a Mega Sceptile team as well. Or it could be a Mega Garchomp or a Mega Scissor, I don't know. If he leaves a Town Flame, which is highly unlikely, he might just leave a Greninja off the bat. Um, I'm gonna leave with Sceptile. He led with Garchomp, perfect. I outspeed Garchomp, so I can finally Mega Evolve right off the bat and go for a Defaults. Unless he's Scarf Chomp. Nope, he lives the Defaults though, what's he gonna go for? Stealth Rock. Ah, he has Stealth Rocks. Actually, I need Stealth Rocks for his team too. He switched. That tells me he wants to keep it. That tells me he wants to keep it. That's really weird. Focus Blast is not going to Oko, is it? We didn't even hit it. You turn Bop. I knew I wasn't going to hit it. I just wanted to try. <laughs> I honestly just wanted to try. I was like, uh, let's see if we can hit the, the, the Scissor with the Focus Blast. Nope. You're not hitting Scissor with anything. You're going to hit Bop. Thanks, Showdown. Um, we're going to go into Florges, actually. And we're going to go for an Energy Ball here. He tricked me. Choice Scarf, that's a bad idea. You might have created a monster. You might have created a monster right there. Scissor could catch it too. Scissor, Scissor could catch it too. I don't mind. Why did that pop up just now? Um, it's going to Heat Ram. Don't superpower. You turn. Alright. Um, he has a Greninja. He has a Garchomp. There's the Garchomp. Um. What a Thunderous. Dragon Claw? Earthquake. He went straight for Earthquake. Straight for the powerful move. Straight for the powerful move. Not even thinking. Knock off. Crit kill. Um, I was actually hoping he would switch, to be completely honest. On that behalf, I really want him to switch. Yes, yeah, Sceptile. Um. Let's go for our Hidden Power Ice. I thought we had sped a Sceptile with Thunderous. I guess not. Um, we can go into Confidor, and we can take a special hit at least once. And we're gonna go for the Ice Punch. He might go back into Rotom. He has to do something dumb. I don't know. Actually, Scizor is a good choice too. Even Talonflame, but Talonflame is gonna be neutral to Ice Punch. He knows I'm going for the Ice Punch, come on. He Leaf Stormed me. 
You have some guts, sir. After you saw my steps, I'll get one shot. <laughs> okay, there goes Talon Flame. And we still have our Heat Man living large. So we're okay. Yeah, we could take one more Brave Bird. And we definitely. We definitely. We are definitely going to take another Brave Bird. Hopefully. If I toxic, that'd be a good that'd be a good play. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stealth wax just in case he U turns. He withdrew. Perfect. Now I got stealth wax up, so we have a good chance of winning this match now. After doing that, um, we're gonna switch into Conkle Door now. Get the Hydro Pump off on me. Cause he's Life Orb, or my Life Orb rather. I'm gonna mock punch and finish it off. Bop. Forgot I could do that, huh? You forgot I could do that. I knew you would come back in with Town Flame, and you're gonna probably try to. You're probably gonna try to Brave Bird or Roost. So let's go ahead, go for the Brave Bird. I I don't even mind. Um. We have Slowbro still here. The music stopped again, so we're gonna go to Slowbro. And we're gonna go for a Scald. I should have went for a T Wave right there, but it doesn't matter because he's gonna bop himself. I should have actually went for a Slack Off, because I probably would. Uh, he probably would. Um. Here's a problem. Here's one of the biggest problems in this team right now. Um, I think we need to keep one of these Pokemon. I think I might keep Slowbro. No, 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 no. I think I need Heatran for the Scizor, actually. Yeah, and we're going to use Forge just to knock out the Greninja. So we're going to stay in and go for a, a T-Wave, just in case we live a Dark Pulse. Which is highly unlikely. <laughs> highly unlikely. Alright, we're going to go to Forge's, and if we can predict the switch... We can go for a Hidden Power Fire and knock out his Scizor. But I see no point in switching. If he does switch, that would be amazing. I feel like that's not a right choice, though. I think I should just go straight for a Moonblast. I'm going to go for Hidden Power Fire. I think that's the best choice, though. Because he knows I can't do anything to him with Florges if he goes in a Gunk Shot. He's a poison type. Hit him power fire. I really wish I had went for the right move. Now, I, now I'm not sure. So he's, and he knows I'm locked into it at the same time. Gunk shot again. Oh, this is a, he's pretty much going to win this. What does he have? Dark Pulse? He has Dark Pulse, Gunk Shot. He, you should have Scald on this thing. It's pretty obvious at that point. Hmm. He has a weird set, but you can't run Greninja without a Scald. Hydro. He missed. He hit. If he missed, it would have been really good. But now I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Um. I'm gonna lose Forge's hair probably. So he pretty much has this game. Ice Beam. I wish I lived that. He has Hydro Pump, so maybe if he misses, I have a chance. I don't know. He hits both of his Hydro Pumps. If I if he missed, I had a chance of winning. We had an equal chance at winning, I think. Is that the last battle? I think that's the last battle, right? We had two already? Did we have two already? Let's have one more. I feel like we, we should have one more. Um, Hold on one second, you guys. I'm going to get the music back up. All right, we got the music back up. And we're still here. Um, He has a lot of threats on the team. He has a Mega Beedrill. Whoa, 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 guy, whoa, guy, relax, start with Thunderous, Sableye, um, we're gonna go for a, if he goes for a Willow, I can switch into Conkleter, let's go into Conkleter, Trick, I guess, everybody's tricking me now, what's going on? That's weird. And it's bad that Sable. Oh, it's good that Sable has this all this. He can't use Trick anymore. And he can't use the cover. <laughs> okay, if he quits, I think that's pretty much the end of the video. Oh my god. <laughs> so this guy is telling me in the chat, he's like, Jesus Christ, why do I keep getting tricked with Assault Vest? Because we know what you're trying to do. Not really. We don't know what you're trying to do. I'm gonna go for Assault. Oh! Oh, this guy is guts. This guy has guts. Sword Dance, catch a toxic, please hit. Thank you. This guy has guts. He's staying in. He forfeited. 
Um, I think that's the last video. The last video. I think that's the last battle for this. What is this lava plume staying here for? Anyway, you know, it's a it's a, it's a good time to end the video because now the video is acting the uh, showdown is acting weird because lava plume just stayed there. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and that last forfeit, mock punch that guy with like button, like an infernate, wreck it, destroy it, do whatever you want with it. Also, leave a comment in the section below. Tell me what you enjoyed about this video and tell me what else you want to see in the future of the Pokemon Showdown battles. Like, tell me what Pokemon you want to see. And I'll bring them on the Pokemon Showdown battles and use them. And I'll even um tell the tell everyone who told me what to use and the set that I'm using. Like, if you told me, oh, use such and such, I'll be like, oh, such and such told me to use this and that. You know, and last but not least, subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any friends that like Pokemon, enjoy Pokemon, and enjoy watching people forfeit, tell them to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm just mad he just forfeited like that. But with that, I'm out. Bye!